So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you a quick little tip for all you farmers out there because as we know there are tons of weapons in this game to farm and I mean absolutely tons in regards to they're not guaranteed drops so certain enemies we have to farm uh, for instance this weapon right here you have to get this from the, the Warhawk pain in the ass to actually get dropped but hey, you just have to be consistent. Use those, uh, well, the silver tier mask, boost that discovery. Also use the, uh, the silver scab, also boost that discovery, obviously giving you more of a chance to actually get said items to drop. And this goes for many, many enemies in the game because many, many enemies, like I said, they have dedicated drops, but it isn't guaranteed. So you need to up that gain. And that's what I bring you today, guys. A quick little tip from a weapon in this game, which also boosts discovery. Today we're getting through all. How's it going, my beautiful people? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the silver tier mask, the silver scarab, I think everybody knows about these, these two items here. But did you know also, guys, the grafted blade greatsword? This also gives you a boost to that discovery. It lasts 30 seconds. You can use it as many times as you like. Uh, it's really that simple guys now this requires a uh, a 40 in strength and a 14 in dexterity it don't worry about what it scales with because we ain't, you don't even have to level this up either by the way i've just got mine to a plus nine because i like all my weapons at plus nine but either way guys we're just using its uh its weapon skill it's 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 that's it that's all we're using the oath of vengeance and as you can see have a look at my stats as you can see right here 55 basically balanced across the board my arcane's at a 70 the more arcane you get guys clearly the more discovery you get and this what this does is the oath of vengeance you pop it guys and you get a plus five to absolutely everything now this can be used for more than just um farming weapons this can be used to boost other things make other other weapons other builds more powerful and yes you can switch weapons guys and get that boost as well that damage boost whatever you're using this works with now i'm obviously titling this video for better means in uh, discovery to farm things easier but hey like i said you can use this for many many other things now this has been known about from the very start to be honest i mean this is the game of thrones reference of the weapon i do believe the one we saw back 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 in the day well i say back in the day but back in the day when the game first released or every video i saw game of thrones easter egg game of thrones easter egg yes this that and the other i paid no attention to it and i actually ignored the weapon but here is me trying to collect things. I went and got it and realized what it did. So yes, I don't think many people have mentioned this either. And a lot of people don't consider it in regards to giving you a boost to that discovery. Uh, for farming certain things. And like I said, there's so many weapons, great weapons in the game. They can only get guys by farming said weapons. I mean, things like, like I said, these here, these are decent weapons, not the best. Um, but there's just tons here. There's tons. I got so many. I can't even remember what I've got. I've got so like these here. These um, are a pain in the ass to farm. Same with these guys, pain in the ass to farm. Um, I've got this one here as well, Bandit's Curve Sword, not too bad. Another weapon I just covered um, earlier today. I can't remember, it's somewhere up here. I think it is it. No, it's not that there. But hey, yeah, you know what I mean, guys. Either way, it gives you a boost to whatever you're doing. So where this has gotten from, if you haven't got it already, like I said, it's called the Grafted Blade Greatsword. You may have it already. It's gotten from down here, right there. Now, if you haven't got this unlocked, you have to make your way. So you want to come down to Castle Moor. Now, I'll go down here. I'll show you the direct route you need to take. The enemies are low. I mean, if you've played the game, if you're like a level 100 plus, you would destroy the boss here to get this weapon. It's so easy, guys. It really is. So you can see where I'm at. I'm just turn back around. I am right here so right here this is the point of where you enter castle Moor. so yep just run through it guys there will be a lift at the end here there's a grace point right there by the way just call this lift down but yeah i mean i've farmed so many weapons and i've spent hours farming them every little helps in regards to that discovery and this again like i said boost it guys you can pop it 30 seconds it lasts i mean by the time you've 30 seconds up you've probably farmed the enemies you're you're farming you've probably gone back to that grace point again guys what you do pop it again pop it again you're good to go you're good to go so take the lift up when it arrives 
Oh, it may already be at the bottom for you. It may already be at the bottom for you. Now you just want to come past here. Ignored all these dudes. Just run straight past these. I mean, you know, come on, some of the dogs will chase you, but if you carry on running, you should be fine. You can basically get past all the ads here without f having to fight any of them. Including the big old pumpkin man right there. I mean, this guy can be a little annoying because he'll hit you as you're climbing the ladder. But hey, climb up. Let's run. There you go. See, so you hit me. Let's go up. Go up and you're good. Go up and you're good. Check me out, my five runes. Check me out, my five runes. Okay, so once you're up here, just run this way. Now, it's like it ain't a straightforward path. So I'm showing it to you guys. It isn't a straightforward path. Run past these dudes as well. We run past these dudes as well. Those should be in the arrow. Don't worry about the arrows. Jump down here. Another grey set, which I'll sit down just to get the aggro off me. Then when you stand back up. And from here, guys, you want to come down again and come this way. Now, you can, I'd probably go down the ledge first. You can jump straight down there. So just drop down here. This is the way I go. You should be fine. Shouldn't take no damage. Ignore them. And then, guys, just run across here. Run across here. And then, guys, you want to jump off to the left right there. So jump off. Jump off again. Just like so. Oh, that was close. Yeah, you don't want to jump off too far there. You jump off again, just like so. And then jump off again, just like so. Now, this is probably the trickiest part. Um, because you have to climb down the beams, which are a pain. In I'd die here uh, earlier. Pain in the ass. It's quite dark down there. I got my brightness up as well. It's still quite dark. Drop down here, just like so. Drop, you can fight these rats, kill these rats, or just jump out the room it's up to you do what you gotta do and then guys come across the bridge and jump down and there's the boss room the boss room is right there so you'll come across here and you'll see this on the screen now me coming in here destroying the boss getting a weapon and then you are good to go guys give yourself a boost to that build give yourself a boost to that discovery to help you farm things so yeah and well short but sweet video i hope you have i say short but sweet but it's been going on about eight minutes but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you do leave a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out on ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one